Hey y'all, happy Wednesday. Today I am just off today. I'm with my husband. I went and voted this morning. I'm actually getting ready to go out to Louis Vuitton because I have an item that needs repair. So um, I'm not sure if I'll be able to turn my camera on in there, but if I am, I will take you guys with me. See you later. Hey y'all, so it's much later in the day. Sorry, I didn't really show y'all anything. Um, but honestly, I was with my husband and I was talking to him and it just felt awkward to pull out a camera, you know? So yeah, I did go to Nordstrom because I wanted to try on some boots, which they didn't have. But I, um, I found them at another store in the mall and I tried them on. They were the Doc Martens 1460s, I think. They were black and patent. But I wasn't completely sold on them. I really liked them, but... I'm not sure how I feel about combat boots on myself in general. Um, so I didn't buy them because I wasn't quite sure and I'm bad about returning things. So I'm going to think about it a while longer, uh, especially to spend that much money on something I'm really not sure about. Um, I want to make sure that if I buy something that I'm actually going to wear it. So yeah, those, yeah, let me know down below if y'all have tried those and what you think about them or what combat boots you recommend. Um, there's some from Steve Madden that I really like that I shared on my blog, but some of the reviews were up and down about it. And I am particular about cheap or cheaper boots. I, I think Steve Madden should be fine, but I don't want to go buy any like really cheap boots because I feel I'm kind of, I've had a bad experience <laughs> with my feet getting hurt from some bad boots. <laughs> so I'm very particular about um, that. So I don't want that to happen again. But anyway. So yeah, now I'm home and I'm getting ready to just put away some clothes and all. So yeah. Oh, I went to Louis Vuitton because I have an item that need repair needs repair and it is my Zippy coin purse, um, the giant monogram, like my favorite wallet. Unfortunately, I saw something on it today like the, what's it called? The glazing could be messed up. So I took it in and unfortunately I'm gonna have to send it out for repair. Hopefully they don't charge me anything. They said that once it gets to their repair, like warehouse or whatever, they'll call me and let me know, you know, if it's something that can be repaired or, you know, what needs to be done if there's going to be any charge for it. So I'll have to let y'all know later about that. But I was really sad because it's my favorite wallet. So yeah, while I was in there, I also smelled some fragrances, but they really didn't have that many samples that they could give. Like, they gave me what they had, but the fragrances that I wanted to sample, they didn't have any samples in store of that particular one. So that's unfortunate, but yeah, I still had a good time. Was, that was my first time going to Louis Vuitton in probably a year, Not maybe not a year, but probably since like January or February. So yeah, it was nice to go in there though. But anyway, that's it. I just kind of wanted to catch y'all up since I said I was probably gonna show you my day and I really didn't. <laughs> but um. The rest of this evening, I'm just going to be spending it with my family and cleaning up. So I'll probably see y'all at some point tomorrow. Hey y'all, happy Wednesday. So I'm actually off again today and I had to come out to the mall to do a return. I ordered this item during Sephora Friends and Family. Shout out to the person who gave me a code. I'm not going to say their name because I'm not sure if they want me to and they're on YouTube too. So, but thank you girl. Uh, but I ordered this item. I've been wanting it since it came out, but unfortunately didn't work for me. I just, earlier today, I just finished filming my video on this fragrance. So now I'm taking it back. Um, but that video should be out before this one. So no spoiler. <laughs> if you haven't seen that video already, I will definitely link it below. But I am returning Tom for a bitter peach didn't work for me guys so if you want to know more about that watch that video but let me go get my money back hopefully they don't give me no problems about it so i'll see y'all in a bit so the return was a success thankfully um so yeah that's nice the girl who helped me was very very nice about it so and they're excited to smell bitter peach because they don't have it in the store <laughs> so they smelled it uh, they weren't impressed either <laughs> uh, but yeah so i'm gonna go i think i guess i'm gonna go back home i got a bunch of stuff to do at home 
I might quickly stop in this TJ Maxx over here just because it's different than the one at my house. Um, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see when I get to the light. If the light turns for me, then I'll go. If not, then I won't worry about it. So anyway, I'll check in with y'all later. And TJ Maxx finally found some black people. So I'm back home. I stopped by TJ Maxx and I had to go get some groceries. I'm currently cooking. Um, I'll show y'all. So I'm using my crock pot today for the first time in a while. It is really old and busted, but um, I'm making a chicken fajita soup. I just pulled a random recipe on, online. I don't think it's one I've used before, but I kind of just throw in seasonings as I see fit. <laughs> And I use the ingredients they tell me to use. So um, this is going to cook for like four hours. So yeah, that should be done for dinner time. So now I need to wash a load of clothes. But before I do that, I wanted to show y'all my little home or my little TJ Maxx haul before I put this stuff away. So let me turn y'all around. So first up is this uh, canvas print. Y'all know I was super excited to see a black girl up in my TJ Maxx. Um, they had two but um, I didn't really like the other one, <laughs> but I'm still happy to see it there. But this is by Oliver Gal. I'm pretty sure it's the same company that did those lips that are in my office. Don't know where I'm gonna put this, but more than likely it's probably gonna end up in my office. Um, but yeah, that was $14.99. Also ended up picking up these shoes that I showed y'all. I really like the color and I like the mixed materials. They are Reeboks. I have not had a pair of Reeboks and I couldn't even tell you how long, but I thought they were cute when I tried them on. They were only $25. I just don't know what I'm gonna wear them with, but yeah. <laughs> and then <clears throat> I picked up a pair of tweezers. I have a pair of Tweezerman tweezers uh, that I keep like in my, like where all my beauty stuff is, but I kind of want to keep a pair upstairs in my bathroom as well. If I see like a stray hair I want to pluck, so. I just bought these for up there. And then I'm gonna unwrap these other two things. And then I picked up two candles. Uh, both are from DW Homes, but this one is chocolate pumpkin spice. And this one smells really good. It smells different than like your average pumpkin candle uh, because of the chocolate. So can't wait to burn that. And then I also have pumpkin latte. And I probably could have done without this one, to be completely honest. But it does smell good. It definitely smells like a latte with a little bit of pumpkin in it. So um, I do have like pumpkin waffles from or pumpkin pecan waffles from Bath and Body Works. But I don't really like burning that because it's a little bit too sweet for me these days. So if I burn it, I can usually only burn it like 15 minutes and then it's like overwhelming. So... Uh, we'll see how these do. Uh, most times, DW Homes is not doesn't g give you like an overwhelming scent like Bath and Body Works. So I think these will probably work that I can burn them a little more often. So that's my little haul. Um, I am going to go ahead and go wash these clothes so I can get myself together before it's time to go pick up the kids. So I will check in with y'all another time. Good morning. Happy Saturday. <clears throat> So I'm actually on my way to the post office. I have to ship a package off, but I also am going to get a P.O. box. Uh, a lot of you all have like direct messaged me asking me if I have a P.O. box and I'm gonna get one, but I just wanna go ahead and put this out. I don't like, how do I say this? I don't want y'all sending me stuff. <laughs> um. I'm not doing this to get like gifts from y'all. Your gift to me is watching my videos. So I, I really appreciate y'all watching my videos. I am gonna get a PO box because people have asked and because sometimes like when I send when I send packages off, I don't always want it to have my address on there. So that's really the main reason I'm getting it. But I'm also gonna put I'm gonna list my PO box in my video description just because like I've been getting thankfully I've been getting a few more like packages from companies and I don't know sometimes I feel a little bit iffy about giving them my actual physical address and I feel like if I just pop it down there and somebody wants to send me something maybe they'll send me something without emailing me 
<laughs> like a company probably won't but we'll see um so i'm gonna try out a p.o box and see how that works um but at least i'll have that like address pr protection even though y'all know if y'all really want somebody address they can find it my husband was like what are they gonna do with your address i'm like i don't know they might come try to snatch me i don't know <laughs> he's like whatever i don't think it's that serious because you know you could pretty much find anybody's address I mean, just if you know somebody's name you can pretty much find their address maybe i shouldn't have told y'all that just in case you didn't know that but um yeah anyway so yeah i'm going to go do that and i'm hoping that today i'll be able to film a couple videos two videos in particular i'm getting a package in the mail today that i really want to do a first impression on so i'm hoping i'll be able to do that today and then i also am hoping i can finally film my favorites video um but i don't know i'm hoping but it's probably not gonna happen because today is saturday i typically don't film on saturdays because you know my kids are home and i'm spending time with them and it's not like they take naps anymore. I used to be able to do it when, when Chloe would take a nap, but not any, she doesn't take naps anymore. Um, so yeah, so we'll see if I actually get a chance to film, but I really, really hope I do oh, mainly because I'm getting that item that I want to do the first impression on. And I know as soon as it hits my doorstep, I'm going to be like ready to like open it. So yeah, anyway, I'll stop rambling. I'll check in with y'all. Okay, put your hands back on the handlebars. Ready, set, go. Yay, get the sun. Good job. Good job. Keep going. Swerve. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. All right, you ready to get back you on your bike? One, two, three, let's go. Do you need help? No. Okay. You on bike to me? I can help you get started. <laughs> it's working. Mommy already checked it. Put your hands on there. Keep your hands on the handlebar and pedal. There you go. We're going to send a video to Grandma. You're doing a great job. You got to watch where you're going, though, okay? You see the pumpkins? It's a pumpkin. I'm going to do this. Is it yummy? Yeah. Good morning, y'all. Happy Wednesday. I'm getting ready to sh um, unpack my stuff from Target. So I figured I would share it with y'all. Do a quick little like Target grocery haul. So here we go. First up, uh, picked up some more sparkling water. This is the mixed berry flavor. Frozen shrimp. Apple juice, All right, carrots, salad, frozen broccoli. I don't usually buy frozen broccoli, but I just kind of wanted to keep some at the house. So we'll see if I like it. I'm, I'm not sure how I feel about frozen broccoli. Almond milk. This time I got the original. Um, usually I get vanilla, so hopefully this tastes just as good. Picked 
got some liquid egg whites. Um, I don't usually get this big of a container, but this is the only size they had, and this is the way I prefer to eat eggs. <laughs> Picked up some clementines. I think that's what these are, yeah. Clementine oranges. Take that back, these are mandarins. Frozen chicken wings. Picked up this microband sanitizing spray. Dish soap. Um, this one is black pepper and balsam. I guess it's part of their new like holiday line is coming out. Smells pretty good. Some disinfecting wipes. This is super special. This is by the McBride Sisters, which they are, I think, the largest black woman-owned vineyard. And I know people have been finding them at Trader Joe's, but Trader Joe's by me is like 45 minutes away, so I never go there. Um, but I saw this in Target, so I had to pick it up. It was $20, which is a little bit more than what I usually like to pay for wine. <laughs> but um, it's fine. I mean, it, I paid that sometimes for wine anyway, so... But usually I don't pay that much at like Target for it. Does that make sense? <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, so it's Black Girl Magic Rosé. I cannot wait to try this. I mean, I'll probably try it this weekend. So I'll have to let y'all know once I do. Cheese sticks. Cheese cubes. Can y'all tell I love cheese? And then I got this bitchin' sauce, which shout out to Kiko Beauty NYC. She's been putting everybody on this. Um, so I'm going to try this with the carrots and see how I like it. I picked up two yogurts. Fun fact, I'm not really a fan of yogurt. So we'll see if I like these. Um, I've heard that things about too good and they're low in sugar and everything. So we'll see if I like these. Frozen french fries for the kids. Trash bags. Um, this scent is, I don't know if it's new or seasonal, but it is sweet citron and lime. Um, yes, I'm that person that buys scented trash bags. I feel like they just help. Like when I open my trash can and I smell the scent of this, it smells better than actual smelling trash. So <laughs> I picked up, I needed some more, um, what are these called? Scent boosters for the wash. I never tried this one, so we'll see if I like it. And I picked up some hand towels from Kleenex. So for these, I'm gonna use these on my face. I think I used to do that before, but um, we'll see if I like them. I've been thinking about ordering some of the Clean Skin Club towels, like disposable towels that also, again, Kiko Beauty put me on. Um, but I don't know. I feel like the shipping is kind of expensive. So I don't know. That's why I haven't ordered them yet, but I'm gonna try these and see if they're worth it to me. Picked up some lip balm for Noah. I'm hoping he'll use this since it's not like shiny and sticky. It's the EOS brand. And I, when I used to use these before, I felt like they were very like natural feeling. So I'm hoping he'll actually like let me put this on him without him wiping it off. Noah's breakfast staple French toast sticks from Ego. I saw these and I picked them up, but I've never tried them before. They're Johnny Pops and they have like, they're basically like fancy popsicles. So they're made with uh, minimal ingredients and with natural ingredients, I think. Um, so this flavor is old fashioned root beer float. So I feel like this would be a nice snack if I really want something sweet. And it's 130 calories for one pop. So not bad. It does have sugar in it, um, but it's only nine grams of sugar. So that's not bad for a sweet treat. Picked up some peanuts. Um, I'm gonna use these to make my own little trail mix. So I also picked up some raisins and dried cranberries. Got some boom chicka pop. I like the individual ones because it gives me like portion control. And a lot of times I'll only eat like half the bag. And pretzels, these are for me and for Noah. Noah likes pretzels too. Um, but this is something that I like to snack on when I want something carby. <laughs> um, but it's not super bad, you know. Some 
popcorn for the husband. Picked up another like single sparkling water and this is again the Good and Gather brand, it's ginger peach. Decided to pick up this cold brew um, from Califia Farms. I used to like these before, but I don't think this is the one I used to get. Uh, but this is just the blonde roast, which I like blonde roast coffee. So I'm going to see how I like this um, for my iced coffee at home. And then my last bag, I got a, another wet brush for Chloe. I have been using one of these on her for forever. And it's been lost for like a week. I have no idea where it is. So I just bought another one. Um, picked up some mascara because the one I'm currently using is wearing out or drying up and some band-aids so that's my little target haul I am getting ready to put finish putting this stuff away then I gotta take a shower and wash my hair and yeah get the rest of my day going so I'll check in with y'all a little later just got some packages that I figured I would just open them on camera with y'all. I was actually in the midst of like doing some stuff on my computer. But from my office, I can see when I get packages delivered. So I saw a FedEx guy. So here we are. Um, let's see. So first up is this bag here. Oh, I know what this is. <laughs> so this is Chloe's costume. For Halloween. I really don't do Halloween, but it is fun for the kids. So the last year I let them dress up and I'm letting them dress up this year. We are just going to either, I think we're just going to go trick-or-treating in our own little neighborhood. Like we live in a really big neighborhood, but our little subdivision is small. Hopefully I said that the right way. I, I always forget like which one is which. The big version is that the neighborhood is the big version, the subdivision. I don't know. But anyway, so um, yeah, I'm just going to let them go in our little neighborhood because I feel like that would be safer. There's not going to be that many kids. We live in a gated community and they don't open the gates for Halloween. So <laughs> um, it's not going to be that many people and I trust my neighbors. And of course, I'll be spraying down the candy and stuff. Um, before they're able to eat it. We did kind of like a little trial run. We did like a car drive through trick or treating this past weekend. And I told the kids, you know, you're not gonna be open, able to open your candy until we get home and mommy cleans it and looks at it. And they did perfectly fine with that. So I think it'll be fine. So anyway, Peppa Pig is what she's gonna be. <laughs> um, what else is this? Oh, this is from Express. I ordered just a couple items from Express. They were having a really good sale. Two of the or two of the items that I ordered I got yesterday, and then this is the last thing that I ordered. They separated them. But this is another one of those blazers that I like. And actually what I got yesterday was another one of those blazers that I like. And it's actually different than the ones that I currently have. Uh, the one I ordered yesterday, I don't feel like going to get it, but uh, it's the pink blazer of the same blazer I'm about to show you. And this is like a thicker blazer. So I feel like it's almost like coat, not coat, but you know, Florida coat level. <laughs> so that'll be nice that I can wear it and not be cold. But this is the one that I got today. So it's gray and it has the silver buttons. I'll try to maybe insert a picture because I'm not going to try it on right now. Um, and y'all have seen me try these on before. So it fits the same as the other ones I showed y'all, but I'll insert a picture of this one and the pink one that I ended up getting. And then lastly is a package from shoes.com. I've never ordered from them before, but I've been on the hunt trying to find this particular pair of shoes on sale. And they had them for 25% off. They had a sale going. Not sure if it's still going, but I will link it below. Um, so I went ahead and ordered them. I did try these on in store uh, a couple weeks ago with my husband. He really liked them, but I wasn't, I, I didn't really know how I felt about them. Like I like them and looking at them, I like them. It's just that it's a different style for me. Let me show you what they are and then we'll get into that. So they are Doc Martens, and these are the 1460s, and they are patent leather. 
So I think these are really cute. I keep seeing the combat boot trend go around. And the reason that I've been kind of iffy about them is just because, like I said, it's not really my style per se, but I don't know. I just, you know, sometimes it's good to try something outside of your style. You may find that your style is a little different than what you thought. So I, but at the same time, I didn't want to get like really cheap boots because I told y'all, I think I told y'all in my last video, I had a really bad experience with boots before <laughs> where they like, really really hurt my feet <laughs> um so i don't want to go through that again so i'm not about the cheap super cheap boot life not like i'm trying to spend like hundreds and hundreds of dollars on boots but i'm also not gonna like sacrifice my feet just for a cute pair of boots so yeah um doc martens i've heard are very comfortable when i try these on in store i tried them on with like just like footy socks and they felt super comfortable like right off the bat so yeah, I'm super excited to have these. I'm glad I was able to find them on sale. And I think these are gonna work. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to wear those. I also like the fact that with combat boots, you know, it doesn't get that cold here, but with combat boots, I don't feel like you look out of place wearing them if it's warmer, if that makes sense. Like some of my boots, like I have some riding boots um, that I love, but I feel like I'm only able to wear them a couple times a year because they look like hot. Like I, they look like I should be, it should be winter and we really just are not getting cold weather like that. So yeah, I'll have to let y'all know what I think of these and show you guys how I style them at some point. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let me know if y'all own any Doc Martens or if you own these particular ones. I honestly never see anybody with these not the patent leather ones. I see people with the regular black ones, but not the patent leather. And right now, the one with the big platform is really popular. I think it's called the Jaden um, from Doc Martin. But um, like these, just this plain one, I feel like I've never seen anybody wearing as far as the patent leather goes. So anyway, I'm gonna get back to my little emails and I'm also uploading a video right now. So, I'm hoping to get that posted either today or tomorrow. I posted another video today. When you're watching this, I mean, you know, it'll be a different day. But I posted another video this morning for my favorites. And I was thinking about posting two in one day. But I don't know how I feel about that. So, I don't know. Let me get back to that. I'll check in with y'all later. Oh, my hair. I washed it. It is, I can probably take this off now but this is my hair with nothing on it and washed of course it's smushed because it was under that thing but i am going to do a twist out so i'm going to twist it later and i don't like the twist on super wet hair so it's damp so probably after i get to a little stopping point with my emails and stuff i will um go ahead and twist up my hair because i'm just later on today i'll just be going to pick up the kids i'm not um going anywhere other than that so yeah, I'll see y'all later. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know you don't need to use the potty. Noah, you want to go use the potty before we go uh, to the playground? Yeah. Okay, go use it. Mommy, I'm so excited. <laughs> Come on. Go on the sidewalk. They've been itching to get out of the house all day. <laughs> so we just walked down the street to this little playground in our neighborhood. And we are the only people here. Today is Saturday, October 31st. And we've been just at home all day. We did go out earlier to go to Chick-fil-A as per usual on Saturdays. That's Mr. Noah's routine, so hard to break. <laughs> um, but other than that, we've been at home all day and they have been like itching to get out of the house. So yeah, here we are at the playground. And uh, yeah. 
Yes, yeah, so I'm wondering if y'all are taking your kids trick-or-treating tonight. Uh, I mean, by the time you see this video, it'll be way past Halloween. So you can just leave in the comments if you took your kids trick-or-treating. I went back and forth for a long time, but I decided to. I'm gonna let them put on their little costumes and we're just going to go in our neighborhood. Now our neighborhood is only about, maybe about 30 houses. It's very small. <laughs> um, just our little like section of it anyway. So it's only about 30 houses and we know all of our neighbors um which even if there was no COVID, this is probably what i would do just because i feel more comfortable with our neighbors but i looked at our facebook and it looks like most of the neighbors will be putting out tables um with the candy on it instead of like bowls so that way they can just grab a little pack or whatever and then i'll go home and sanitize your candy and that way they'll just get the experience of going trick-or-treating and y'all let me know in the comments what you decided to do with your kids if you have young kids for halloween this year Noah, Chloe, slow down and wait for mommy and daddy. Chloe. <laughs> 